Ryan Abraham, uscfootball.com here on Howard Jones Field. Practice number 11, USC Spring Football Practice. We've got Keith Hayward, USC defensive back coach, new defensive back coach. He was a, you were a Beaver, you were a Husky, now you're a Trojan. What's it like to be a Trojan? Oh, uh, it's great to be a Trojan. You know, uh, it's a great place, a lot of tradition here, um, great players, and um, I'm just happy to, to, to get this thing back on track and be with Coach Sarkeesian. You got to play your ball up there at, the, at Oregon State, but you're high school. Right here, right? Taft is it Taft High School? Is yeah, that right? Taft High School. Montclair Prep for a couple of years, and then Taft. Yeah. So I mean, it's good to be back home, you know. And got a got a tour door on on a team, two of them, you know, DJ Morgan and then um, uh, Antoine. I don't know yeah. why I'm, yeah, Antoine, but no, nah, Cookie Monster. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's great though. I mean, to be this close, and I haven't been back to Taft in a long time, but um, you know, it's just good to be down here in Southern Cal. Does it make the transition easier because you went to high school down here? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it does because this is like this was home at yeah. one point in time, you know. Know, and and um, you know, I always saw USC. You know, as one of the schools I always saw. But um, I mean, it's, it's it's easy being down here. Yes. The, uh, if you look at practice and you watch defensive backs, a couple big names like Josh Shaw, Sua Craven's not practicing, Dav Davion Shelton. So how is, is it difficult not having some of those big names out there with uh, working with these guys? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, it, it, this spring ball is a time for guys to develop, you know, and then fine tune the fundamentals. So not having those guys kind of is, it, 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 is bum it bums out a little bit, but it makes opportunities for those other guys who are getting reps, you know, and then, and then the guys who are injured and sitting out right now, they're going to have to catch up and make sure that they can, you know, pick up where they left off. A couple of those guys kind of getting reps. Uh, Chris uh, Hawkins redshirted last year. Uh, Gerald Bowman was injured. He's coming back off injury. Those couple of guys that Steve Sarkeesian named a, a few times when he was talking about the after practice. What do you think of those guys and how they've been so far? Oh, they've been doing good. Yeah, like you said, Chris has been getting a whole bunch of reps. Gerald has been doing great. I've been noticing Gerald a lot um, during the last three or four practices. Um, so that, that's great, you know, because we want to make sure that we find a role because we're going to need them all. Yeah. You know, we're just going to make sure we find a role and be able to play everybody. Speaking of roles, Josh Shaw is kind of the guy that could go either way. Does it depend on what he's going to do? Yeah, we. I mean, you know, Josh, you're going to put him at corner because that's what he's been doing. Um, if we need him at safety, we'll play him at safety. But, you know, as long as he's on the field, I'm sure he'll be able to contribute somewhere. And, um, I mean, you know, Josh, Josh is going to be Josh and make plays. So, yeah, we'll just play him wherever he needs to play. Wherever he needs to go. He can play all over the place. Uh, Scheme-wise, what do you think that you're teaching these guys? We've talked about technique and stuff. What, what do you think is different? What have they had to learn that they kind of, you know, not what they did wrong last year but it's different from what they did last year well we got a lot of concepts there's a lot of variables um you know, I don't think they played any man free where there's an underneath uh, hole player, you know, there. But, I mean, a lot of it is the same. It's just the big thing is terminology, mm -hmm. you know, from the, the verbiage that they used last year. And then the, the, the concepts, I think, are the same. They just have to, you know, correlate the terminology with the concepts. So, you know, scheme scheme's not changing much. You know, we want to make sure these guys are able to play fast and use their athleticism. For uh, As far as scheme goes, you, you know, you got corners out there, and uh, safeties have worked a little different. You saw like a guy like Shaq Thompson playing up near the line of scrimmage for for Washington before. Is something like that going to happen here at SC too? Um, you know, it just kind of depends. We got to find out when everybody's healthy. You know, what's the chemistry and what's the best for me? Four or five guys, sometimes even six, if we ever get into a dime package back there. And then, what are these young kids or the new guys who come in are going to be able to contribute? You know, the Lockets, the Plattenbergs, the Dorries, the Simmons, all those guys. Where are they going to fit in at so we just want to find the best match or mix of guys so we can have the best 11 on the field. Is it going to be a big fight for guys like Juju Smith and Adore Jackson to get on the defensive side? All right, as long as they're somewhere playing <laughs> and we're winning games it won't matter to me. All, all I want is guys who, who are able. I'll coach them up. I'll, it doesn't matter who it is. Cool. And one last thing. Any surprises like you've come in and, and talent wise or just whatever it's been down here any surprises you've seen this spring no you know I've, I've had high expectations of these guys because of the talent that they are and they they've pretty much fulfilled that you know and you know a lot of guys have done good I think Chris is doing a good job um, developing and Gerald could like you said coming off an of injury I mean he's shown some explosion and an ability to get out of the middle of the field and defend out of the post um, Leon has showed some coverage stuff um, you know, Kevon is getting better in his technique and, you know, getting some interceptions. I mean, all of them are doing good. And even down to, like, Lopes, you know, some of the walk-ons are doing good. And, okay. and, and Carrasco and Dillard. So, you know, all the guys are getting better, and that's the thing that you want in spring is just to make sure guys are getting be better and developing. All right. Keith Hayward, USC secondary coach. This is Ryan Abraham. Check out uscfootball.com for more.